Well, hello, people of St. Bart's. Chris Myers here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we are hurtling through the season of Lent. Um, this coming Sunday will be the fifth Sunday in Lent, and the Sunday after that will be Palm Sunday, and then we'll be in Holy Week and Easter. This Lent has felt like for me, and maybe for a lot of you, uh, just to fly by. But if you've been with us on Sundays, you'll have noticed that our gospel passages have all been from um, the book of John. And this past week, we had the story of the man born blind. The week before that, the story of the woman at the well. And the week before that, um, the story of Nicodemus with Jesus. And all of these stories have similar elements. Um, there's an element of intimate conversation where Jesus engages with someone at a deep level, at a profound level. And there's a revelation um, of who he is, of his character, his nature, but also his mission. And that begins with Nicodemus, this revelation that the Son of God has come into the world because he loves the world. He's come in the world not to judge the world, but to draw those who would believe in him to himself and to his Father. And fascinatingly, he says to the Samaritan woman, I am he, the one that you're talking about, I am he. And he says a similar phrase to um, the man born blind. Who is the son of man that I may believe in him is what the man born blind after he's healed asks. And Jesus says, in effect, I am he. I mention all of this because the story this week is the story of the raising of Lazarus from the dead. And you get uh, two culminations in the book of, of John th that are interesting to think about in the context of Lent. Because Jesus ends up saying... I am the resurrection. It's the culmination of his I am statements. Who is Jesus? He is the resurrection. And he doesn't just say that he's the resurrection. In his final sign, and this is the second culmination in this chapter, his final of his seven signs is to raise Lazarus from the dead, to prove, to demonstrate that he is the resurrection and the life. Why do I say all of that? Well, the season of Lent begins with Ash Wednesday, and it's a reminder of our mortality. And I said this on Ash Wednesday, is it's not just a reminder of our mortality, but a reminder that we are sinners, because those ideas are connected. Uh, in a Christian understanding of the world, the reason that there is death is because there is sin. Death results from sin. So lurking in the background of Lent is as we engage in self-examination, as we attempt to draw near to God, to draw near to each other as we practice whatever we've practiced in terms of fasting and prayer and almsgiving. In the background of all of that is the reality that um, there is death in the world. And Jesus comes and he says, I am resurrection. I am life. He's the answer to the problem that Lent poses to us is what hope do we have if there's death in the world? Well, we have the hope of resurrection. We have the hope of one who can call us out of death into life, who can stand before a tomb and say, Lazarus, come forth. And at the sound of his voice, who is resurrection and life, Lazarus does come forth. That's the gut level question of human existence. Is there hope beyond suffering? And death and Jesus's answer is yes and that hope is me I am the resurrection and the life so we're gonna talk about all that on Sunday and I just want to encourage you with that this week whatever is going on in your life um, whatever is going on in your family whatever feels hard right now um, there's this promise and this declaration that Jesus is resurrection that he is life and that he wants to call us out of death into his life We'll see you on Sunday. We love you. We're praying for you.